Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, uh, we've got a, I guess some would call it a large field, but myself, uh, I call it maybe a medium field of canola to harvest. And uh, as you can tell, we're at a 98% yield bonus and 100% fertilized. We are going to put uh, these three Colossus harvesters in the field. Uh, we've got them uh, set to stay 400 feet apart. And we've also got them set to skip a row. So let's get in and let's fire these guys off and see what happens. All right, we've got, like I said, we've already got them all programmed in. They're going to start the first waypoint. This guy, the number one, his position is one left. Just tell him to go to work. And we'll go back here to number two and wait for number one to get started. All right, number two, first waypoint. His position is going to be center. So we'll wait for number one to get started down there. And we'll tell number two to go after it. All right. I keep forgetting they want to unfold by themselves. So they'll, <laughs> they'll fold that harvester up just so they can unfold it whenever they get down there. All right, number three, first waypoint, his position is going to be one right. So we'll wait for number two to get down there. And we'll tell number three to go to work. All right, very good. And we'll just ride with number three for a little bit. Make sure everything gets off to a good start. Now these headers are 50 foot headers. And it looks to me like uh, they're not going to the uh, straw uh, spreading on the back of it is not going to spread the full 50 liters or, or 50 feet apart. And I think that might be okay. I think we'll just leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be great. So, but anyway, looks like they're off to a good start. And they're running six mile an hour. Which I thought they were supposed to, I thought I uh, had them set to run a little faster than that. Maybe I did not. So, but anyway, they are doing a great job. going to uh, jump out of this guy. We'll go back and get in our grain cart and 
we'll be prepared to uh, unload them. So I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, we're getting these guys offloaded. And they won't have that much on them. And if you have watched my previous video, uh, you will already know that these Colossus harvesters unload extremely fast into the grain cart. Uh, yes, they are just fantastic. So, plus you will also know uh, that they have a bigger grain capacity. So, absolutely. It doesn't take very long at all. And you've got them offloaded. Just like now, he's he's empty. The only thing we're getting is what he is harvesting at the moment. All right. Well, we're gonna let these guys get along with it, and uh, I think we'll go up here and we're gonna get number one har uh, emptied out before he gets to the end down here because they are going to start uh, their up and down rows. Now, <clears throat> with them skipping a row, uh, until they get to, they're, they're going to start on one side of the field. Well, until they get to the other, to the far side of the field, the other side of the field, Number one's pipe will always be opening out into the crop. Once they reach the other side of the field and they start back picking up the rows that they've skipped, then his pipe will always open out where we can get to him. So, but, uh, yes. These harvesters, <coughs> we used them to harvest 600 acres of sunflowers and it was an absolute pleasure an absolute pleasure so we're going to go ahead and let them get along with it and I'll get back with you in a moment alright we're going to ride with number three uh just to make sure that this first turnaround on their up and down rows, uh, just to make sure it goes right. We don't want any collisions or, or mishaps or whatever you call it. <laughs> oh yeah, it can happen. We just want to make sure that number one goes over uh, to where he's supposed to be. And it looks like he's getting it figured out. Oh yeah. All right. But as you can see what I was telling you a while ago, they started at one side of the field. And now because they're skipping a row, number one, his pipe will always be out into the crop until they get to the other side of the field. Then whenever they come back and pick up these rows that they've skipped, his pipe will be on the outside where we can get to him. So, should he get uh, loaded, then he will stop and back up and get over to the right side, put his pipe out where we can get to him then. So, anyway, that is the way it goes. And it looks like everything is just going flawlessly. Looks great. We'll have this field done in no time. All right. Well, I will go get in a grain cart. We can keep these uh, number one or number two and number three emptied out. And uh, yeah, and like I said, number one 
until they reach the other side of the field, uh, we're going to let him roll. He's got a grain capacity of, I think it's 72,600. And uh, so if he does get that much in his grain bin, bin, then he will stop and back up for us to empty him. Otherwise, we'll just let him roll. All right, well, we'll go back and get in our grain cart and uh, keep number two and number three emptied out. All right. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't take very long for them to empty out. And then they're just merely, uh, all you're getting is what they're putting into the grain cart. So, these harvesters are just fantastic. I'm really enjoying them. All right. Well, number one is still going. And, uh, and he will go until he gets loaded or until he reaches the other side of the field and his pipe is out to where we can get to it. So we'll just let him continue on. Well, I, I, I really take my hat off to the modder on these, uh, these new Colossus harvesters. They really do a fantastic job. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll get back with you when we get just a little farther. All right. So what you're seeing here... Uh, is the number one harvester is making a dry run and if you've watched my previous videos you'll know exactly what I'm talking about they're on track but this is the way that they compensate for the width of the field and uh, it is they are spot on and they are doing a great job everything is running exactly the way it should so now we can go down and we can empty number one out now because his his pipe will be out of the out of the uh, the field out of the crop. But as they go back and pick up the rows that they skipped, his pipe will will continue to be out of the crop because he will start over on the far side of that row uh, that they skipped. So, but we'll go up here and we'll get what he's got because he's made a couple of passes. And, uh, yeah. All right. This, uh, this fast emptying, see, he's already emptied out. That is very, very handy whenever you're running, uh, say, five harvesters. You need them harvesters to empty out as quickly as possible so that you can go back and get the next harvester because you've got five of them that you're keeping up with. And the idea is not to stop them if you don't have to. That's the whole idea. So, a fast unload is very, very important and very handy. It sure makes your job a whole lot easier, I'll tell you that. But as you can see, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have this field done in no time. Actually, putting three harvesters in this field was a little bit of an overkill, but oh well. You know, I tend to overkill on a lot of things. 
<laughs> uh, anyway, we'll get what number two's got. It won't be much. We'll get over here before he spills it on the ground, huh? All right, well, we've got what he's got. So now we'll just wait for them to do the up and down rows, or all the rows that they skipped. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. But yeah, we'll, we'll stick with them while they get the rows that they skipped. Now, number one harvester, he should come right in on the other side of that field, uh, row that they were working on. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. You can't ask for better. Oh, I guess you could ask for better, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now, number two, he's sitting there waiting because they've got that 400-foot distance that they need to uh, to adhere to. So, that's why he's dragging his feet and getting started. And he's just crawling right now because they're trying to maintain that 400 feet. So, excellent. All right. Hey, yeah, we'll just go up here and empty number one out. He's not going to have much. But we'll get what he's got anyway. All right. Very good. And I am almost certain we have got everything that he's got. <laughs> Alright, we'll just go get number two and number three. Just to say we're doing something. And I'm quite sure this green card is going to hold everything coming out of this field. And we'll have it done real soon. Alright. That's unbelievable. <clears throat> as fast as they unload. That is just Unbelievable. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. That's <laughs> that is just great. That's fantastic. And as you can see, it's just a pleasure. I mean, you're not rushing. You're not rushing to the next harvester. Afraid he's going to get loaded and stop. No. Very good, very good. And we've got everything that he's got. Alright, well, we'll get just a little farther and I'll get back with you. Alright, well, we're riding with number one. Uh, it looks like we've got one more row to do. And this field will be completed. <laughs> Very good. Now we've got the other harvesters coming in behind us. So everything has just run nice and smooth. I mean, just flawlessly. And that's the way we like it. <laughs> 
Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess we're going to call this a video. If you like this content, please go down and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do. That would be great. If you'd like to share this video with someone, please do. That would be fantastic. But as for me, the dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call it a day. And as always, Thank you for watching.